Hello friends, hope you have a nice day. What is attitude? Attitudes are often the result of experience or upbringing. They can have a powerful influence over behavior and affect how people act in various situations in their life. While attitudes are enduring, they can also change. The main components of attitude are cognitive, affective, and behavioral, which means they incorporate thoughts, feelings, and actions also. Psychologists define attitudes as a learned tendency to evaluate things in a certain way. This can include evaluations of people, issues, objectives, or events. Such evaluations are often positive or negative but they can also be uncertain at time. Attitudes can also be explicit and implicit. Explicit attitudes are those that we are consciously aware of and that clearly influence our behaviors and beliefs also. Implicit attitudes are unconscious but still have an effect on our life, beliefs and behavior. We tend to assume that people behave according to their attitudes. However, social psychologists have found that attitudes and actual behavior are not always perfectly aligned. Now think about someone who know who generally has a really good attitude about life. Holding positive attitudes can make you more popular and increase your chances of success in the workplace, those who go through really hard life things sometimes say that their positive attitudes help them get through all the hard things in their life. A negative attitude can cause problems in our relationships or jobs also. We tend to avoid other people who have a bad or negative attitude in their life. Attitudes have an enormous impact on our lives. Attitudes are predisposed feelings learned over time that cause us to act, think, and feel a certain way about events or other people also. Predisposed refers to a tendency to feel a certain way in our life. Attitudes generally inform how we treat other people and react to situation in our lives. If we have a positive attitude toward dogs, we will generally be happy when we see a dog. If we hold a negative attitude toward dogs, like the attitude that dogs are dangerous, we will try to avoid dogs whenever possible. Attitudes are primarily feelings, but they impact our thoughts and actions as well. It can be hard to separate the feelings part of an attitude from the thinking and doing part. Our behaviors and reaction in turn can also impact our attitudes. Our attitudes are often based on our beliefs, but how do we develop those beliefs in our life? We hold so many different attitudes about people, places and things. We might hold a positive attitude toward going to the gym but dread going to work because of a negative attitude. Having a positive attitude means we feel favorably toward something. We usually like to engage in that thing. Someone with a positive attitude toward chess is likely to play a few games with friends or compete in tournaments also. Having a negative attitude means we feel upset, scared, or disapproving towards something. So we usually dislike or disagree with that thing. Someone with a negative attitude toward sports will likely avoid playing or watching games or discourage others from doing so. So attitudes can be formed by the mere exposure effect the elaboration likelihood model or other aspects of life like culture, family and friends. Thanks for watching my friends.